Hey everybody, this is Praxis. I know your time is short and I probably only have about eight seconds to keep your attention, but I have three things that I want to share with you and I think they're all pretty important. I'm going to list them off right now so you can determine whether you want to watch this video or not. The first one is in relation to the most popular thing here on my channel. If you're a new subscriber, you may want to know about it. The second thing relates to the Alien Invasion series that I've done. If you subscribe to this channel because you like the Alien Invasion series and you want to get updates on it, you're going to want to hear what I have to say about that. And the third relates to how I'm going to continue to release videos here on this channel. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Not waiting, better believe in your mind because it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. Okay, so I mentioned that there are three different things that I wanted to talk about. So the first one is, I know there are a lot of new subscribers here to the channel, and I wanted to let you know what the most popular, most exciting, most uh, interesting and entertaining thing that I've done here on my channel is, so you can check it out if you'd like to. What that probably is, is my Alien Invasion series. Now, I created an Alien Invasion series not because I think that it's particularly likely that there's going to be an Alien Invasion. I created it as a fun, fictitious way of sharing prepping lessons that are applicable during things like wildfire fires, floods, hurricanes, civil unrest, all these types of things that you're almost always you're almost certainly going to encounter it, you know, at least one of those during your lifetime. I created the Alien Invasion series as a way of kind of sharing lessons that are related to prepping and preparedness, but in a context that's more entertaining. There's a, a fake alien invasion that's going on, and I play kind of a character that's going through things that they need to do to cope with this situation. And it's all basic prepper stuff related to pantries and, you know, security and gardening and all these different types of things. It was the most popular thing that I've ever done here on YouTube. I think that the series has been watched by about a million people. Thousands and thousands of people subscribed to my channel specifically because they saw this series, which feeds into the next thing that I wanted to talk about. And that is for people who did subscribe. If you're one of the people that subscribed to my channel because you enjoyed the Alien Invasion series season one and you wanted to know when season two came out, YouTube probably didn't let you know that season two already came out last year. When I released season two, it got seen by almost nobody. And the reason for that is, um, I didn't figure it out right away, but I found out later. The reason is because I was simultaneously releasing a another series that was about building the homestead that I'm living on right now. Uh, it started out as trees, it was cutting the trees, it was excavating the foundation hole, building the foundation, building on top of that, building gardens, firewood sheds, root cellars, fallout shelters, all the things that we've created here on our homestead, step by step in a way that shared with people the actual uh, you know, difficulty and nuts and bolts of putting it all together. That series was never meant to be entertaining like the Alien Invasion series. Uh, the reason that I did it that way is because I wanted to share what it's really like to build a homestead. I think that a homestead is the holy grail of prepping. If you want to be a serious long-term prepper where the world could fall apart around you and you could still have a shot at continuing and moving on and you know living your life, having a self-sufficient homestead is kind of, like I said, it's the holy grail. It's like the one shot that you really have to achieve that. So I think it's a really important uh, series. I think that it's a really important skill set, but it's not particularly fun to watch. Uh, there's a lot of videos here on YouTube where someone will be, well, they have a title like, man builds a cabin off in the woods all by himself. And it'll be like, you know, a bunch of beauty shots with some musical, musical kind of accompaniment in the background of, you know, someone kind of putting together a cabin and the whole video is like 20 or 30 minutes long. It takes a lot longer than 20 or 30 minutes <laughs> to clear a forest and, you know, you know put a whole home uh, together. And I really wanted to share that with people because it's, it's important to know how to build a homestead. By the way, if you want to see this series, here's a link to it here up on the screen. Uh, but it's also important to understand that it's a serious project and you have to understand that it, it, it takes more than 20 or 30 minutes to do it. And you have to understand there's going to be headaches. So when you get one of these headaches, I don't mean literal headaches, I mean figurative he headaches. Although you work a long day in the sun, you might get a, a literal headache as well. But I think it's important for people to understand that, uh, you know, it's difficult. And if they're having trouble with it, they, they need to understand this is normal. This is part of the process, you know, keep soldiering on and you're going to get to the other uh, side of it. So anyway, it's an important series. I released it at the same time as I was releasing Alien Invasion. And because uh, so few people wanted to watch the Homestead Building series, 
uh, YouTube inferred from that that all the people that had subscribed, uh, the thousands of people that had subscribed because they saw Alien Invasion, probably didn't want to see Alien Invasion se uh, season two because you know they weren't they were making a they were taking a pass on all of the home building uh, episodes. Uh, so I know that there are a lot of people who have uh, shown up on my channel and thought that I just wasn't releasing content anymore or, you know, they, they came back asking, hey, you know, are you going to do season two anytime soon? And I got to tell them, yeah, I already did it last year and it's already been released. I'm re-releasing it. Here is a link here on the screen, also down in the description below. There's a, a link to season one and season two. And there is going to be a season three coming out. I'm uh, working with some other prepping channel hosts to get a nice mix of different uh, uh, diverse prepping channel hosts with different points of view and opinions uh, to weave into series three the same way that I did with season one and season uh, two. So that is the second thing that I want to let you guys know about. If you enjoyed season one, season two has been available for a year and if you haven't seen it yet, link in the description down below. You can see the entire season two and binge it if you want. The whole season together is a little over two hours. The last thing I want to let you guys know about relates to this channel uh, itself and how I've been releasing videos. Uh, and, it, and it relates to kind of some of the problems that I had with YouTube not letting people know about videos that I've been releasing. Uh, for the past five plus years, since I started this channel really, uh, at the end of every video I say something along the lines of, make sure you tune in every Friday at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time for a new video. And that's the way I've been doing it. Every single, year, every single week I've been releasing a new video at 4.30 Eastern uh, Standard Time on every Friday. The reason I chose that time was back when I was originally doing this, the way that YouTube shared things with people was through subscriptions. If you wanted to uh, subscribe to a channel, you click subscribe and they let you know what that channel released. Later on they changed it so you had to click subscribe and click notifications to get notifications about the channel. And then after that, at some point, YouTube decided to just ignore the whole notifications things all altogether and just figure that YouTube knows what you want better than you know what you want. Uh, and the result of that is that um, if a video doesn't get a lot of traction, if a lot of people don't watch it within the first few hours of it being released, YouTube presumes that ain't nobody want to see this video and they just stomp on it and throw it away. The reason I had originally chosen Friday evening was because I figured, well, people have time over the weekend, so I'll release on Friday evening. So at people's time of their choosing, you know, figuring that people uh, you know, are smart and know how to manage their time, at some point over the weekend, people want to uh, subscribe to this, uh, and people will want to watch this video that they've subscribed to check out, and they can check it out at that time. Uh, unfortunately, the way that YouTube does things right now, because I'm releasing it on Friday evening, it, most of the videos that I get really, most of the videos that I release really tend to kind of get squished because, I mean, people are doing other things at Friday in the evening. So. What I've decided to do is instead release content uh, through the, throughout the week uh, at different times and, um, and, and I'm going to see how that works. Uh, that's the way most YouTube channels do it and I think that's going to be the way that I'm going to uh, continue forward with it. I'm not going to cut down on the, uh, the rate of things that I'm releasing. I usually release between one and three videos per week and I'm going to keep up with that but I'm just going to be changing the, the way that I'm releasing them so instead of them being released at a time during the week that is probably the least likely time for anybody to watch the video, I'll be releasing them at other times during the week, which might be equally bad, but at least they won't be that absolutely worst time during the entire week. So that's what I'm going to try out. I'm also thinking about maybe doing an email list at some point. I'd love to hear your thoughts about what you think would be a great way of getting content uh, out to you so that you actually know that it's been released, because I know that there have been hundreds and hundreds of people that have contacted me uh, asking me when I was going to release something that I told people on my channel that I was going to be releasing and I had to tell them hey, I already did YouTube just didn't tell you. YouTube is a great platform for hosting material but it's becoming a really problematic intermediary uh, when it's trying to uh, use its better judgment about what you want to watch instead of, instead of letting you decide what you'd like to watch. If you want to circumvent it for the time being though, what you can do is go to your YouTube homepage and up in the upper left hand corner there are a couple of tabs and one of them says subscriptions. If you click on the subscriptions tab, it'll bring you to a page that is showing you all the stuff that YouTube used to show you, which is the stuff that's been rec recently released by channels that you've subscribed to. Wow, imagine that. <laughs> what a novel concept. So 
If you would like to know what uh, has been being released on this channel or other channels that you subscribe to, go to that subscriptions link button and it'll bring you the stuff, not that YouTube thinks that you should be watching, but the stuff that you said that you think that you should be watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope that you enjoy Alien Invasion if you haven't seen it before. If you've been excited about seeing uh, Alien Invasion Season 2, I hope you enjoy that as well. And uh, I hope that things work better going forward because I know that there are a lot of people who uh, enjoy this channel, enjoy this channel's content, but it's been very difficult to get the content out to you guys with YouTube constantly stepping on every single video or nearly every single video that I release because it is not, it's not appealing to the mass audience. Instead, I'm doing stuff that appeals to me and I think appeals to a lot of you guys. And if you want to circumvent YouTube trying to do your thinking for you, Try that subscriptions tab until <laughs> YouTube gets rid of it. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every week for new videos. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so through Patreon or PayPal.